Hey guys. I know we'll be waiting for some people to come on here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start since it's exactly eight o'clock and I have a lot that I want to cover. And I know that um, everybody else would jump on here as well and start that as well. Okay, so tonight we are going to talk about basket parties. And um, welcome you guys. I know people will be popping on here. So I need to check the waiting room. And if you guys see any of the others, let me know so I can spotlight them. Um, I just got in a little while ago. My office is a mess. I've got a thousand things going on at once. And it's about spring break for my kids. Anyway, so tonight we're going to talk about my basket parties. And um, basket parties have been the heart of my business. I started Cincy in 2009. And I had a nine-month-old, a one-and-a-half-year-old, a two-and-a-half-year-old, and, and, two and, and an eight-year-old. And there was no way in the world that I could leave and go do things. Um, I wanted to be able to share the scents. And back then, we had really, really, really big uh, tester jars. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. Um, sometimes I have them in here, but uh, I don't have any in here right now. But anyway, they're big tester jars. I'm sure somebody can place one on here. And what I would do is I would go door to door to door to all my friends and let them smell them and get the orders and then move on to the next person. And I thought there's got to be an easier way to do this. I mean, this is in 2009. And so we took the top of the tester jars and started scraping them with a spoon into like little containers. And there were so many people who wanted to smell them. I went to a hospital function and did a drawing and had everybody enter. And if anybody wanted to smell the scents, um, they had to enter. And I had about 250 people who entered the drawing. And I had probably about 22 people who wanted to smell the scents. And I'm like, there's, there's got to be an easier way. So I even took my daughter out of school so that she could um, help me scrape into these little containers. And some of you guys might remember this if you've been in here for a while. Anyway, so I go to Denver, Colorado in 2010 for the um, convention. And I'm um, talking to other people. And I thought I was just a genius that I had come up with this. Um, and Annette, I think, um, had also, you know, helped me do this. And I found out that everybody was doing it. Everybody was figuring out ways that they could either melt down those little jars and put them in little containers because we needed a way to be able to get these scents under people's noses. We also had something called a scent appeals. And um, I had them up here. But they were like little cards that you could pull back and you could smell. And they were like on a keychain and they were super cool too. So all of us were really growing and we were figuring out ways that we could get our scent through people's noses. And the most important thing for you to do with Scentsy in this business is to get those scents under people's noses. So um, the next thing um, I did was um, I started sharing them. I started making molds. I started doing all the things that I could to be able to get the scents out there. Eventually, since he came out with basket testers, which made us so happy, absolutely so happy. And um, I was able to take my baskets that I had the really big jars in and put these basket testers in. And we could buy the basket testers, they were super cute. And um, then they went to like another size tester and then they went to like the testers they have now. So we've been through like so many top size testers through Scentsy. And I started finding a way to be able to do parties that would work in my life. Let me uh, fix this. Um, okay, there we go. Anyway, so um, I guess in 2009 through like 2011, I really did a lot of basket parties. About this time in 2011, my kids became toddlers. A lot of them became toddlers all at once. I needed a break. I needed a break away from home and away from being the stay-at-home mom, nanny, and helping all my friends out with their kids and babysitting. I needed something for me, and that is whenever I dove into home parties. And home parties were a really, really big thing for me because I could actually take the basket testers, have someone at the party want to book a basket party, and then I could give them the basket testers. So I always had these things going out. They're like little employees you send into the world. And then they will bring you back income. So um, with basket parties, I grew very, very fast because I needed to be home with my kids. Um, I did some events. I did a few home parties, but 
I did like, I'm not kidding you, probably 20 basket parties a month. And if you know, basket parties usually average anywhere between $200 to $600 normally. Sometimes I'll have some bigger ones around the holidays, but normally $200 to $600. So I would think to myself, how many basket parties do I need to get out to get $2,000 PRV? Because 2000 PRV is going to give us our 30%, right? And that is something I could control was the income that I was going to make myself. So I'd say, okay, well, probably four to seven is going to bring me in that 2000 And then I'm going to have follow-up and then I'm going to have referrals and then I'm going to have people join my team. I'm going to have parties that I flip. And back then we could not flip parties like we do now. Instead, we would just let the hostess join and then let her put in the orders and pray that they stayed because that was a lot of uh, PRV to give away, right? So anyway, why do basket parties? Um, I wanted to take this topic because this is, like I said, the heart of my business. Um, I am in another season of my life where my kids are now teenagers and they need me probably more than ever than when they were toddlers. And I didn't want to be pulled away as much. And when we went through the pandemic and COVID, what, four years ago, three years ago, whatever, um, I learned how to really get these scents out there and let them work for me all over again. Because it's like we went to basket parties and went to home parties and went to events and did fundraising, then did online parties and then did Zoom parties and did the bingos and then mixed the social media with the parties. And then we did online, um, what do you call those, uh, shopping links. And now it's almost like we're going back to basics and we're going back to where I started, which I've been absolutely excited about. So anyway, um, so basket parties. You are going to gain new customers. You are going to get referrals. You are going to um, find people that are um, find people that are going to join your team. And we need to get back to partying again. We need to get back to if you're not going to do a home party, you need to at least do basket parties. So the most important thing, I'm going to show you a couple different basket parties. I don't have the one um, the current ones because I already have seven of them out. So I just pulled some things that I could just show you guys. So I think I said this on one of our drives before, but every time I have a host, I already book them for the next six months. I already, if I have someone in August, they're going to get a bag party in March. If I have someone in September, they're going to get it in April. Um, and I know that I always have two parties from one person that year. Most of the time they end up joining me most of the time. But if they don't, they'll continue to have bag parties from me. And it will go from actually having a basket party to maybe just a bag party where they can smell and get some scents to something that is like a little mailer. So for everyone who has already done parties for me that don't want to have to do the whole basket party where you actually get the full, you know, products and everything, um, I'll just send them this. And this is just um, a little Mylar bag. You can put it in anything you want to. So anything I show you tonight, you can totally make your own. You can do it completely different. I'm just telling you what works for me. A Mylar bag. And I have, um, I made little samples of all of the 10 new releases because most of these people have already smelled the scents before. So I just want to let them know about these. They always, always get a eight friends sheet, which I have here. And this is a way that they can collect um, orders. They can get eight six pack orders. And I know Canadian has a different price, um, but for us, it's $30 for a six pack. And so then once they collect all those, they get their free stuff and their half off stuff. That right there is a party in itself. I also have it in this and I can mail these, I can drop them off or whatever. But I always have the thin of the month and the warmer of the month. I have information about joining our um, team. And then I made this little brochure. It's a Canva brochure. But it says, hey, friends, hey, tells you what's new, has QR codes to go straight to their party link and also to be able to look at like the Scentsy Club. Then I have um, information about some of the new things, which is our room spray, um, the counter cleans some of the new fragrance flowers, where they can find me on social media, all about Scentsy Club again, because I'm really pushing that, because if I have my Scentsy Club, I always have my PRV, that I know I'll be active. I will also have $500 and already have my leadership in, so I can concentrate on follow-up, and I can concentrate on 
finding new people to join, right? Um, and then I also had here where they could grade the new cents that I sent them and then the ways that they could buy them. In the very back, it's information about joining and it's information about me, where to join, what their party rewards are, and then you already saw the front. So that's in there. And then I usually put a catalog, which I don't have in here right now because I've given all my catalogs out. But that right there is something I give to all my recurring hostesses. It is basically, um, it, it's almost like a pouch party. You could actually buy a pouch if you wanted to. I've always used these. Oops, that's my glasses. I always use these pouch parties. Um, you can go to Target Dollars for it, and you can get Spot, and you can get some of these. There are pencil cases. You can get them on Amazon, but it does not have to look any certain way. This is you. This is you sharing with them. As long as you're getting the sentence under their noses, you're getting them order forms to be able to take orders or making them an online link where they can share it and get orders um, or even the six, six friends thing. This is another thing that I've given out. At every event that I do, when I'm set up, I have 10 of these. And these little containers I got on Amazon. And you can see they're just those little containers that you can actually melt the wax into. You can make about 25 of those out of one bar. And then here, there's some more, obviously, that I've made. I don't usually buy the transition testers that much from Scentsy unless I'm in a bind. Or if I need to get somebody some that is out of state, I'll just go ahead and order it and ship it to them. And I think like right now it was like $23 for the transition and $33 or $34 for the full set. And um, so I got a couple of full sets this time around because a lot of mine are really, really old. Another thing that you want to tell them is do not leave them in your car. Our wax melts at a very low temperature and they will melt. You don't have a clue how many people have brought my bag back completely melted testers. Um, and then these, I ask them to please give me my containers back. And if they do, they get a free bar. And I usually give them like a cent of the month because we've already got those and I've made samples off of those. Okay, so that's what I do for my recurring customers. This one, however, is more of a pouch party. In my pouch parties, I will give samples of the counter clean, of the laundry liquid, of the washer whiffs. Um, I'll throw in a room spray because our new room sprays are new. They have a new formula. I will give them the testers and I'll give them more. I'll give them more of the classics, the new ones, and maybe like a few men and bakery ones, you know, just mix them up. I don't give them all of them. I hardly ever give out the 80 cents unless they ask me for them. Um, I give them joint information, another eight friends thing, a catalog, um, information about joining and any of the specials that since he's having. I do not put my LTOs in my bags. I personally don't. Some people may just because they might sell out by the time that I get them. A lot of times when we get our holiday brochures, if I can get these out before the holiday stuff comes and I can get those orders before November 1st or October 1st or September 1st, that's great but I don't like to put it in there. Instead, I give them the online link because I hate making the phone call that your stuff is back ordered or it's sold out, right? Okay, so that would be like the pouch parties. Um, now, with all of my pouch parties and all of my basket parties, and I don't really do this with my recurring customers. My customers have seen this a thousand times before, so I really don't do it. Um, but I have the hostess packet and I can put this Canva link in our um, group, but it basically says, let's party. And it has the information about party. And this is a generic one that you can actually use. And it has make a wish list. So I always find out what is it that you would get if you got free stuff and half off stuff. And then if they say something like a mini fan, guess what? That might be my hostess gift to them for having the party, for collecting the $200 in orders or more. Um, Share with your friends and family, share your party link. The most important thing for you to do besides having your order forms and a way for them to collect orders and making your link is hostess coach. Hostess coaching is vital. You need to let them know to share this. And there are so many things that I do that are fun with my basket parties for new customers, which I'll go to in a minute. So the first page is gonna talk about how do I place an order? It tells them how to place the order. You can put your QR code for their party on here so that they can just pass it out. Sometimes I'll even put the QR code in the bag 
so people can just um, scan it and place their orders. You'll find that every generation has been different, right? There's Gen Zs and uh, Millennials and uh, Gen Y. And it seems like the more and the younger that we get, the more the attention span is like a little bit, right? So they want things that are really fast. They don't take their time. Basket parties are great for that. Pop-up parties are great for that. If you're looking more at the, you know, Gen Z, um, you're looking for more home parties, I think, more connection, those kind of things. We're not in such a rush as a lot of other people. And then like the millennials, they still enjoy the mix of both. So I kind of ask my customers, what do you want? Do you want a pouch party that you can share really quickly? Do you just want to smell the scents and pass them around? Or do you want like a full-blown party in a bag where you can experience all the products? And a lot of them will say, I just want to smell the scents in a catalog. Okay. But if they're my recurring ones, like I've said, there have been some new things like some fragrance flowers or the swipes or something that I might make some samples out of. But I'm not going to put a lot of money into it and I'm not going to put um, a lot of things that are not duplicatable because I want them to get this and feel like they can do this as well. Okay. All right. So um, <clears throat> it has how to host a party. You can do this, how to get paid, the different kits, how you can earn the kit, the $99 kit. Um, it has the bundle and save ways that they can save money. My nails look horrible because they've been breaking from me doing some horse stuff. And um, of course, the sense that things are available in because they can just look and say, okay, I want a pod. What does it come in? Well, this tells them what it comes in. I also have done um, pod parties, um, flower parties, where I just give the scents for the pods or I just give the scents for the flowers, especially like fundraisers with flowers, um, fundraisers with pods. Um, a really fun thing I've been doing is, um, where is it at? I've been doing whiff box parties. Well, I'll drop off a whiff box with my consultant and I mean, consultant customer and see how many orders she can get for the whiff box. And that's been super easy because all I have to do is give her order forms. All I have to do is give her a catalog. All I have to do is give her information about joining, um, maybe the bundle and save and the whiff box. And she just shares it. And it has been amazing. I've been doing some really good parties with that. Um, okay. So then the next thing is, um, let's see. I got everything written down. Prizes. So whenever I do a basket party, and let me just show you. Let me say, okay, ignore. <clears throat> All right. You got to ignore my office. All right. So. My, my bag parties are going to be more like, my basket parties are more like this. They're going to have a transition set in them that people can smell. They are going to have samples, examples of swipes, right? This is actually the sun, the um, Snow Kiss Cranberry that we got at SSD um, Summit last year. Before everybody else, if people like them. But um, I can't make samples of them because we don't have that scent. But just giving you an example I always give them a sample of new things. Um, then never give them like a whole bottle of counter clean. Give them a little bit because they're going to use the mess out of it and they're going to order and then make sure they have the bundle and save about the counter clean. Wash it with same thing. Give them samples of it. Give them the little thing that says you can do a load of laundry on me and give them some washer whiffs, give them the liquid and then you can throw in a dryer disc or a dryer sheet. But remember, it's an LTO. So sometimes I'll say, let me get your opinion on this because if it comes back, I'll be able to know what to say. Everything that I usually give out, I ask them for their opinion and their feedback. I don't want to let them know it's going to be in the catalog or it's going to be available again. But if they come back and they're like, oh, I love it, then I can say to them, oh, this is coming back. I know you loved it. This is what your feedback was. How many you want? Right. Then I have information. And this is the older one, but I have the information for all the um, scent of the months and the warmer of the months. I'm like, this is really old, but I have the stickers on those because I don't like to like make a ton, a ton of mold samples if I don't have to. And I'm getting the stickers anyway. I have information about the Cincy Club and then I have information about the referrals and the rewards. Information about the products. Then I have information about like 
Have you ever even for a second considered being a Scentsy consultant? You can now earn a hostess starter kit whenever you host a qualifying party. So they can use this party and they can earn the commission from it and they can flip it and they'll get their um, $59 kit or they can join for the other and then flip it to them. Um, you can also now, if you have reinstatements, I think I'm saying this correctly because one of my girls did it where if somebody reinstates, you can actually flip a party to them if you help them um, launch their party. But there has to be proof because she had to show proof of everything. And don't use your credit card. That's the one thing I can tell you. Um, make sure she uses hers. The next thing is the, um, or they use theirs. And then I have a Sensi referral um, thing that I give them where it's basically for every referral that places an order, you will receive a scent circle. Um, for every referral that joins my team, you will receive a warmer. And um, they look at this and a lot of people will say, you know, um, I'm thinking about doing this because my friends are already ordering and I might as well get paid on it, right? And then I run out of order forms all the time. So I just print them off and this one's all wrinkly, but print them off. I have them on my computer. I print them off because most things are digital now anyway. And then I can go into the site and I can print off their receipt once I put their order in. So the basket party, the actual bag basket party is going to be more full size products. The whole transition kit, if they want 80 cents, fine. Most of the time I don't use the 80 cents unless I'm doing a home party. Um, and then, you know, different things that they can try. With this party, I always give them like a mini fan and a pod. With this party, I'll give them a full size fan and a pod. Um, depending where they are, if they're at a salon or a doctor's office or if they're at work, I might give them a fragrance flower as a gift from me to put out so that they can get orders on that as well while they're keeping the bag. And then that will be my gift to them for hosting the party. But I can't make any of that public. That's something that I'd have to do um, one on one. Now, for the whiff box, somebody just asked about the whiff box party. Well, this is the whiff box for this month, right? So what I do is I give them this whiff box. I give them a whiff box, an actual whiff box, because I get mine in the very, very beginning of the month. And I will say to them, this is a whiff box. This is how much is in it, and this is how much it is. See how many orders you can get for this. And for this one, I think I had like 10 orders because everybody wanted the exclusive Stitch Buddy. And um, it has a catalog in it already that you can put your um, sticker on. You can put your order forms in there. Like I said, your referral information, um, the party incentive information, and then the bundle and save. Um, you can also put, if you want to, which I think I did, I just put the 10 new cents in it just so they could smell it. But all you do is give them a whiff box. You give them a whiff box with the things that it is that you would like to share with them. But don't give any full product that's not in the whiff box. You don't want them to give a false um, expectation or something that something's going to be in there that they don't have. And I'll just drop them off and be like, hey, this is the whiff box for this month. It's only $35 US and see how many orders you can get for it. Just leave it out and see what people think. And people call me and say, I got like eight orders. I'm like, okay, great. So that is something that I love to do. It's super easy and it's already put together for us from Scentsy. So order you a whiff box and start getting some whiff box parties out there. Okay, um, prizes. So another thing that I do with my big parties, especially around the holidays, is I will put three gifts in here that are completely wrapped up. And then I'll have one more. So I have four. So I'll have three smaller ones and then I'll have one bigger one. So let's just say that it is a um, dryer disc, okay? Let's say that I have three dryer discs or maybe a bar or something that is a lower price. It could be scent circle. It could be whatever your budget is. It could be whatever you want it to be. And it has one on one of them, two on another one, and three on another one. And then the fourth one says open when you book three basket parties or home parties or whatever. So basically says open when you book three scent socials. Okay. Another thing I put in my bags is um, don't give the bag back, pass it to a friend so that they can actually get stuff too. Because most of my people will be like, I've got orders for this, but Susan wants to be able to earn some free stuff too. And so I'll get her to pass it to her. I might pick it up, fluff it up, make it look nice and give it back to her. 
but it's called Don't Give the Basket Back. And I do have um, that I can put on there as well. But anyway, so you have four little prizes in here, okay? So let's say you have a dryer disc, you have a bar, and you have a room spray. You wrap it up or you put it in little bags and you have numbers on them. Every person who books a party from her gets to open that up if they book the party, right? Now, you can do it either way. You can give them the gift then or when they actually have the party and you're bringing the bag to them, you can bring it to them then. Most people that have the basket party that book the parties, I'll let them give them the gift because it's so small anyway. And then I go ahead and get the date of whenever they want to get the stuff or I get her to be in charge of it. One of the things I have found though is whenever people are booking these parties and they have the prizes and they're about to open their third one, they start thinking, wow, I could get paid on this party. I can make about 50, 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. Amy just booked, Megan just booked, and Lisa just booked. I could get paid on theirs too. Why don't I just join? So most of the people that have the prizes always join. I would like to say it's like an 80% return. I never really have to even do anything with it because they will join. I'll still let them have the prizes because it was my party in the beginning. But I'll do that. And you figure out like what your price point is. So when you're doing a home party and you have like the envelope game and people open it and it's like you can get a warmer or you can get a room spray. And then another one is like book a party, get a prize. And maybe the other one is win or something. Um, you don't usually give them their warmer or what it is that they booked. So um, let me give you another example. Okay. Another thing I'll do. I, I do things all the time. I have scratch off cards that they scratch off and they can get a prize if they book a party, right? So she can give off the scratch off cards instead and they can actually scratch it off. She'll write down what it is that they get and then I can get them the party. I put playing cards in these one time before and whichever playing card they got, they actually had it wrapped up and they pulled it out and it said seven or maybe it said um, a queen, which would be 10 and say, okay, well, they can get any nightlight that they want for that price if they book a party so there's so many ways that you can play as if you're having a home party through basket parties but your host has to be engaged they have to be willing to um, share the stuff do the host coaching with them so they can get excited about what it is that they want when they get three parties booked they're going to get something even bigger and a lot of times I won't even put the prize in there because maybe it's a, a mod warmer and so I'll put a little envelope in there. It says open when you get three parties and it'll be like you get a new mod warmer or you get a mini fan and a pod or whatever it is. Because I feel like every time I do this and I get them to help me as a new team member, they're learning the ropes right away. I'm making things very duplicatable, very simple, very easy to where even if they get the testers from Sensi for a $99 kit or whatever it is, they can just divide them up into three parties if they wanted to, because I'm showing them that they don't need all 80 cents in order to do this. So those are some really, really, really fun things that I do. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have written down. Let's see, with box party, full size products, got that, pouch parties. I think I almost covered all of the things. But the most important thing for you to do is to get the sense under people's noses. And all I do is all about your language and it's all about how you want to share it. Um, I will message my recurring uh, customers and hostesses and say, hey, I've got the new sense. I can drop it off to you on Monday or Wednesday, what day works best. Um, they're not hearing yes or no. You're not getting any kind of, um, you know, pushback. Sometimes I'll hear, oh girl, I don't need them just yet. Can I get them in April instead of March? So, okay, April works. Can I put you down for this date? Because I have a lot of people who want them and I want to make sure that you get them first. Like, okay, that sounds good because that's like my VIP. That's like that, um, what is the word that you, urgency? It's like an urgency that you want to be able to get across to those hostesses that you're first in line. I've got you down first to smell these new things. There's a long line of people to smell these, but you're first. And then they're like, okay, drop it off here, drop it off here. And like I said, a lot of times after like, sometimes the first time they'll join, but sometimes it takes about two or three times and then they will join because they'll start to realize they could have got paid on this. And a lot of times when it is a recurring hostess, I will put in there, this is how much you would have made already 
if you would have joined. So maybe you might want to think about flipping the party this time. And I can have these conversations because I've built these relationships with them to where I feel very comfortable sharing with them, you know, what it is that they could have joined or who ordered off of their party link. Now, when you're doing like a online um, party, you can easily send out party packets. And party packets are so easy because you can send out the stickers that Sensei has for us. You can send out the actual things that people like to melt. I have found that people like to melt scents. They feel like they get a better um, feeling of what it smells like instead of just scratching and sniffing. And I have booked so many parties just off of this. I've had people that I've mailed it out to go, oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun. Can I join your team? Um, I've been thinking about doing Cincy. Can I join your team? I mean, it's crazy how much people love this. So when you're doing online parties, Facebook parties, I would tell you it's important to create a jot form or a Google form that they can fill out so that they can tell you what kind of sense that they like, and then you can send them out a party packet. That can be anything you want. If you look around your office right now, and maybe you have some old things sitting out, right? Maybe you have some things you never moved over, like the hand creams or, you know, body washes or whatever. They could be prizes for people to use whenever they actually book parties for you. Those hostesses are booking parties for you. You're not having to ask their friends. They're like, hey, I'm going to get an extra gift if I get three parties. Can you help me out? I'll order from your party too. Because guess what? On their party that they get booked off of them, they can get a half off. Because I can use that perpetual party reward and award them with a half off of something for them doing that for me. So I built my business off of basket parties. Um, and I can tell you that between 2010 and probably 14, most of my people who joined my team came from basket parties where I gave them the PRV whenever they joined. And a lot of them are still here today because they absolutely found a way to work this in their business. If you are in their life, because, you know, you want to build a life that you don't have to work around a business, right? You want to have a business that your life that enhances your life. Um, my biggest thing was, if I was going to work and I was trying to figure out when I was going to be able to see my kids recitals or I was trying to figure out when I could make it to practice or I didn't want to have to find somebody to go pick up my kids. It'd been nice if I had a business that would just, I could use it anytime I wanted to. And right now in my life, I am able to do that. I, every March and April, I have at least 20 of these that go out every single time. I'm probably at three or $4,000 every single um, March and April, because I have a system of who they go to. Then in around the summertime, I got to get really creative. I've got to do things that entice people and incentivize people. And that's whenever I might come up with like with boxes, or maybe I'll make up my own box. I'll make up a summertime box. Last year, I did an 80s theme box and I dropped it off and said, hey, here's some really fun 80s things in here. Find out if you want to get some orders. And I made my own box that I was able to get orders off of. Um, the fragrance flowers have been a great one because they don't feel so much pressure to be able to share the whole catalog with everybody um, and all the scents with them. You can just give them the scents for the flowers. The pods are definitely a really good one. Um, I used to give the Scentsy Goes out and let them be charged so that they could use them everywhere they went and I would challenge them for three days straight to take it everywhere they went they went to the gym if they were in the office if they were at school at home wherever they went I wanted them to use it to be able to share it and say oh yeah and this cool my Scentsy consultant gave me this to use for three days and I'm absolutely in love with it and then she would get orders just on the Scentsy Go um the mini fan there's just been so many things that you can just say, you know what, I want to focus on this. Even the air purifier. The air purifier, I had one and I asked people online who would like to try this. Trustworthy people, that is. Trustworthy people. And be like somebody wanted to try it at a dental, um, a dental office. She was a dental hygienist. So I dropped it off there with all the scents of the pods that came with it. And I also gave her a couple other things that she could try. And she gave me back an order of five purifiers. Um, diffusers, same thing. How many of you guys use oils and diffusers? People say, me, me, me. I'm like, okay. 
I'm going to drop off a diffuser and I dropped off the little $65 one and um, US and then gave them the oils and that's all I gave them. And then I was able to get parties. So Scentsy is not hard. I think sometimes we make it too complicated because we're like, oh, there's so many products and I don't know what people are going to like. Ask them, say, how many people love Scentsy laundry? And then just give them the laundry stuff with all the scents in it. Get them to collect orders for just laundry. The clean stuff. Give them a cleaning caddy with all the cleaning stuff. With the Scentsy Fresh and the all-purpose cleaner. And we don't have the dish soap anymore. But the counter clean. and the, um, We have something else. The bathroom cleaner. Get them to collect orders on them. Do you know anyone who um, cleans houses or any cleaning services or daycares? And just drop off those caddies and say, hey. You can have this because it's not much money. I think it's what, $25, maybe $30 um, in stuff that you could say, if you get up $200 in orders, then this can be yours. I've done that so many times. People get to keep the cents whenever they get the $200 in orders. Um, sometimes out of the basket party, I'll have try me. Oh, that brings up one more thing. Um, swipes. Swipes are an excellent one. That is a great one to be able to put in your cleaning caddy. Everybody's going to love this because everybody uses the Lysol wipes. So why not use our swipes? The other thing is the grab and go bag or the try it before you buy it bag. These are really fun. When I do events and people start to buy certain things, I'll ask them, have you ever tried our fan? Have you ever tried our fragrance flowers? Have you ever tried this? They're like, no, I haven't. I'm like, well, can I get you a try it before you buy it bag? It's really a basket party but I'll give them a full-size basket party with full-size products that they can actually try and give me feedback on. And I'll tell them, if you happen to share this with some people and you happen to get some orders, you can get some free things. And I'm like, oh, really? So it's really a basket party. It's just the language that you use. So I will have a sign-up thing at my event that says, do you want to try it before you buy it bag? And people can actually sign up and they're really signing up for a basket party. And most of the time, they will either rebook with me, they will refer people, or they will join. So these basket parties, you can customize them. You can make them so much fun um, for others. And I have it to where my customers are like, oh, I cannot wait to get one of Shannon's bags. Um, for March, I gave out, um, I don't have any left over, but... For my March bags, I gave out like little Werther's gold candies with um, pot of gold. Like, I'm so lucky to have a customer and a hostess like you. And I gave them a whole bunch of gold Werther's candies. Um, I came up with some peeps and some Easter things for my April parties. I mean, I guess I thought that Easter was in April and it's not. It's in March, but that's okay. They're getting it in April anyway. Because I try and theme each month with something special to give them. Sometimes I'll give them magnets with my information on it. I'll give them pins. Um, I have a whole box of um, these things. I just fell behind my desk, but can't get it now. But they're seeds. They're like little seeds that you can buy on um, Amazon to where um, you can send them a message and go, because of you, my business grows and give them like a packet of flower seeds that they, of wildflower seeds. You can buy the little um, cutouts that already have the seeds embedded in them. And then you can just put them in an envelope for them and say, this is for you. I always give them something, some kind of form of gratitude whenever I'm giving them the basket party. That usually is themed. And so those whiff boxes have been like super fun because if I customize them, people want them. If I just order Scentsy's, people want them. And every time I've been getting $200 at least for my whiff box parties and um, normally my pod parties. So I think that covered a lot. I don't know who else is on here. I don't see anybody else on here. Are there any questions or does anyone want to share some of the things that they have done? You guys can unmute yourself. I would love to hear from you if you've done anything else other than that. You can do fundraisers this way too. You can just give out like a bag. I will go um, to like a, a cheerleading squad, find out how many parents are and make them all up a bag and then print out the big QR code with a sticker on it that goes straight to their fundraiser. And then of course on our um, websites, we can customize them 
with the picture of what the fundraiser is and actually QR code and all the things. So that's really fun. But I think I really covered a lot and uh, I don't see anybody else on here right now. So I guess it was just me tonight, which means you guys will get out early. <laughs> if you, uh, do you have any, anything to share? Anything that's worked for you before? You can put it in the chat or you can uh, unmute yourself. I covered a lot, so I might have already covered everything. Trying to see. Heather, are you trying to unmute? Let's see. It looked like you were trying to unmute. Okay, you're unmuted. If you were you trying to unmute yourself? Yes, okay. Okay, maybe not. All right. Well, that kind of uh, concludes our basket party um, information. Robin put a really cute clear bag on the page, if you guys saw it. But this is another kind of clear bag that you can get from Amazon. Um, what I did was I made 25 of each scent whenever we had the holiday scents, the fall scents. And I had a bag of um, each scent. So that whenever I did my basket parties or my little parties like this, I would just go to them and just grab one from each one. And then I would have them all ready to go out. So that was really fun too. Um, no, I was trying to say you have great ideas for summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't hear you. Do you still need to unmute? Because all you gotta do is unmute. But um anyway, there's so many ways to share Sensi. So there's really I hate to say it, but there's really no excuse not to ever have $200 in orders because you could say, okay, this month I'm going to do pouch parties. Next month, I'm going to do with boxes. Next month, I'm going to do flower parties. Next month, I'm going to do, you know, uh, cleaning caddies. I mean, it's so much fun just to be able to, you know, look at all that we have and, you know, just put together different things to share with people because most people do want to smell the scents. They, they are ready to get rid of cinnamon and pine in their house. I have not been home that much since January. I have been on the go with my kids and with, you know, Scentsy that I was in there last night looking at the mantle and realized I have a Merry Christmas thing across the mantle with two red little berry Christmas trees that I think we just get so used to seeing those things that we don't even realize it. So then I walked to the very front and I'm like, I still got the swirling snowman up. And I still have the LED Christmas on. And I guarantee you, I still have very snowy spruce in there. And I did. So I'm one of those people who ready for spring scents. Do you offer a special for someone who books a party from you at a vendor event? I have. Yes, I have. I have like, this is my booth special today. If you book a party off me today, then you can get a mod warmer um, free whenever you get $200 in orders. That's the key. When you get $200 in orders, you will get this from me because you want them to have a qualifying party so that you can use that perpetual party reward to be able to give them what it is that you're offering them. Um, that's like a one-on-one -on -one communication that you can say with them. So that is totally fine. I wouldn't put it up on a sign or anything for other people to see, especially other Sensi consultants that walk by and think, oh, well, that's out of compliance. So you wanna have that one-on-one -on -one communication. I'll send it through Project Broadcast. I'll send it through any of my um, events that I do, you know, online. I will, let's see, what else have I done specials? I did something last week at a um, consignment, um, which call it a event, where it was like a four or five day event. And I had a QR code where people actually scanned it. And then they went straight to my job form and then they could fill it out and they could put what they're interested in. And then I messaged them from that and told them, hey, thank you so much for filling out my form. You get a prize from me for doing that, which will give them a scent circle. And then I'll say, if you want to, you know, have a scent social, whatever it may look like, then you can get this from me as well. And that could be meeting me at Panera and let me bring the scents and you bring four friends. It could be me dropping it off at a dental office. It could be me just giving it to you to share with your, you know, church friends or whatever. It can look however I want it to. And that's the cool thing is when you look at someone and you say, you want to have a scent social or do you want to have like a, a girl's night? And I don't try to use the word party so much 
because I really focus on trying to get basket parties out. And when people think party, they think of opening their house, right? Because there's not many ways that you can have a pampered chef party unless either you have an online link um, I don't know if they give you things that you can share with people or not. So it's either in your house or online that you can share at a Facebook party. But with Scentsy, I can say, do you want the Scents to share? Would you like a shopping link? Um, would you like to have a Facebook party? Do you want to have a home party? How would you like? We can customize this to whatever it is you want because that's the beauty of Scentsy. You can share this and get free stuff whichever way you want. So that's the really coolest. That's the coolest thing. Thanks for all the information. I love your different types of parties. We'll definitely try to get some out. Awesome. All right. Well, it is quarter to nine. I'm going to let you guys out early. Um, this is also on the Accelerated Drive page. And I'm going to apologize again for my office because <laughs> I have about 500 things going on between fundraisers, uh, horse stuff, finish up my kids stuff for spring break and moving the stuff out into another room. So we got all the things. But I hope you guys have a great night. And thanks for joining me tonight. Bye.